About time. Looks like there's some crud inside of it, but I can't tell what it is. I don't have many bottles set up. It's a little cold right now, so I'm not gonna cut very long. But I have the uh, Shinwa Purple Warrior uh, Ninjato taken apart, as you can see. I'm gonna test out the edge on a couple of bottles just to show you why I am uh, reprofiling it. And then after that, I'm going to go inside and actually start grinding it down and everything. So, first bottle it doesn't have a cap on it. So I can see if it's actually cutting or if it's just uh, smashing. I had to muscle through that one a little bit. As you can tell, the water's splashing up everywhere. It's having a hard time cutting, but uh, I'm going to do a couple with an actual sharpened katana for a reference. Just for fun. Why not reverse grip? Alright, so. There's a clear difference in cutting, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the, uh, the Jato inside, start filing the edge down, smoothing it over, so I can hopefully get her up to par with my others. Alright, so I'm fixing to take a file of this thing. I'm going to try to keep the angle as close to the original grind is possible but I probably still have to angle it a little bit more this way just to keep from uh, working myself to death so I know this isn't particularly safe but I have no choice Alright, so my filing skills can stu still use a little bit of work, but uh, this is the sword after I just took it through uh, uh, 400 grit sand vapor. I had a shot of this after I had taken it through uh, 100 grit sand paper, but uh, in an effort to clear off my uh, camera, I accidentally deleted the raw video, so I no longer have that. But here it is after. Ah, uh -uh, focus. Here it is after some 400 grit. Alright guys, I'm just about to attempt the etching process, and because I don't have a container to put it in, I'm going to try it with vinegar and soap on a uh, paper towel. So let's see how this goes. Before I start the etching process...
view of how shiny it is. Stay over there. <laughs> Earlier, when I hit this clip. I think it was off camera actually, but earlier when I hit this clip, I hit the uh, metal spring inside of it, which left a nasty mark on my blade. You can see that after all the work I just spent sharpening and reprofiling it, damn it. But, thankfully it's small, I can probably get rid of it no problem. <laughs>